Hey guys, how are you? It's Tuesday and I'm calling this Try It Tuesday because I am trying cauliflower rice. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried this before. Um, every time I went to the grocery store, I would always look at the cauliflower rice and be like, I know I should be eating this, but how and what kind of um, like recipe would I make with it? So I actually found one in this keto group that I'm in and it said like Chinese cauliflower rice and I don't know if you can give me like a thumbs up, but <laughs> I love Chinese rice. So when it ever said that, I was like, all right, I gotta give this a shot. So what I'm doing is um, I'm actually using the whole bag because I'm kind of like, why not? I'm actually just putting two uh, tablespoons of butter in there to melt. So what I did at first was I took the cauliflowered rice, which was just right in this bag. Hey guys, how are you? And um, I put it in my microwave and I steamed it, okay? So it, that was only like, maybe like four minutes or so. Um, and you don't have to do that. You can actually just put it in your wok, but um, I just kind of thought, let me just kind of get the process going a little bit quicker because I'm actually starving. <laughs> uh, it's almost two o'clock and I haven't had any lunch yet. So so what I did is I just put the butter in there. I already steamed the rice in the microwave um, and then I put the rice in the wok. And now what you do is you just melt the butter. Um, so the rice is like almost cooked a little bit. I don't know if you can give me a thumbs up. Who here likes rice? Cause like, I'm like a huge, huge fan. Um, so after you cook the rice, well not cook it, but you know, let the butter melt. And what I'm doing is just moving around the cauliflower rice with the, um, with the, the butter. So once the butter is melted, all I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you guys can see the pan, but I'm just moving the rice on over to the side here, okay? So when I move the rice over to the side, that's where I'm gonna crack my egg. <laughs> hey, Greg DiMarzio. I hear I see Greg DiMarzio is watching. Um, so I'm just cracking the egg on the side, and what you wanna do is scramble it up. So I crack the egg, and I'm just taking my spatula, and I'm just gonna scramble it. That way you can give yourself some nice little protein in there, right? And what's the coolest thing is, is that all you're doing is using one pan. So that way you don't have to mess up numerous pans because who wants to do that, right? And then what I like to do, and this wasn't part of the recipe, but um, I love peppers. So I just cut up a whole bunch of just, I think they're bell peppers, and I actually really kind of prefer sweet peppers, but um, I'm gonna do bell peppers today. So I got some peppers and put them um, in a little cup here. And I just cut them up into small little chunks. And I'll show you guys. So just like small little chunks. Um, I like green, red, yellow, any type of peppers. And kind of like why not adding like a vegetable into the rice. So here's what your eggs look like right and what I'm going to do is just mix those into the rice and then I'm going to add my peppers in there you don't have to add peppers but I just like it and I like to add it in kind of early because I like my peppers to be nice and soft and not really hard and crunchy so I'm just adding it and mixing it up like this okay so once we have that look how colorful that looks right should have done I didn't have any green peppers but green would have looked pretty in there um, so once you do that, then you're gonna take some vinegar, just white vinegar, and a little bit of sesame oil, okay? And then you just put that in. Get as much in as you possibly can. I think it was like a half of a teaspoon. And what I can do is I can, you know, put the um, recipe in here if you guys want it. So I'm just mixing it up. And then in this bowl here, I have some ginger, a little bit of ginger, and some garlic. So I'm gonna sprinkle that on in, mix it up a little bit. I'm almost done. See how quick and easy and fast this is? And then what I'm gonna do is soy sauce. So I'm gonna put the soy sauce in. Oh my God, guys, this is like so good. You're gonna wanna eat it. You don't even know that it's cauliflower. 
So I made this the other day and I left a little bit left on the stove, right? And my kids came in and my kids love rice. So my, uh, my middle guy, Cole, came in and he was like, mom, what's left on the stove? And I'm like, hey, Lindsay, how are you? What is it? It's, it's like Chinese rice. But what I'm doing is I'm using cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. So I added in egg and peppers. You can actually add chicken and steak if you'd like and actually make it like a nice big meal. But um, and what I did, because I'll just kind of review it a little bit and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But I used cauliflower rice. I actually steamed it in the microwave for like five minutes and then I got out my wok and I put some butter in there and I got some cauliflower in there. And then I got the egg and I cracked the egg and this is all in one pan. Cause listen, we don't want to make a mess, right? Um, and then I added, what did I add? I added a couple of um, spices in there, some garlic and what else did I add? Garlic and ginger and then white vinegar and sesame oil and then a little bit of soy sauce. And then guys, that's it. So this, my friends, is gonna be my lunch. Now I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right away. Um, I love that. Cauliflower rice is my fave. Yeah, and you know what? I gotta tell you, like I was, I kept on going into the aisle and seeing the cauliflower rice. And a lot of people said that they make pizza crust with it, which I haven't even like, I can't even go that far because I feel like, I don't know, it was just too difficult for me. And I needed to do something super quick and easy and fast. And I'm telling you, I think it's the soy sauce. Just make sure you don't put too much soy sauce because I kind of thought the more the better. And I was like, ooh, that was a little too much soy sauce. So just start like a little bit at a time. Uh, but dude, it is so filling. It's gotta be the cauliflower. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my cauliflower rice. And doesn't it look like Chinese? Chinese rice? Like, and I have my egg in there. So I have my protein in there as well. And then I added the peppers in there so that I can have more on um, veggies. But like, that's it, that's all that it took, just that little amount of time. And I actually used the whole bag. Um, oh, hey Katie, how are you? Um, I know, I can't wait to give you a hug too. <laughs> um, but I used the whole bag, but this is gonna be, you know, probably like two lunches because I'm gonna eat a lot because it's that good. But, um, oh, I want my sweatshirt. Oh girl, this sweatshirt, like I live in this sweatshirt, it is so comfortable. I have to look to see who makes it because I would love to make some for our team because it's that comfortable. And I'm like, God, and it's got the hood, the whole nine yards, so um, it's wicked comfortable. But yeah, guys, super easy to make and I can smell it, it smells so freaking good. I can't wait to eat it. So um, I know, Janelle, doesn't it look good? Cause like it legit is and it's healthy cause you're using cauliflower and peppers and eggs, you know, soy sauce. Um, but like you could even get like that, like amino acids um, instead of using the soy sauce. Cause that, my mom's like a health nut and she was like, oh, you shouldn't use soy sauce. You should use the, I think it's the amino acids. I don't know if Greg's still watching, but um, I wonder if I have it in my refrigerator. Let me just check to see cause it's by Brad's, oh, this one. You can always use this as on your soy sauce because it's a national alternative. But for this time, I just, I use regular soy sauce. <laughs> but this is another option. Bragg's got some great stuff, sour apple vinegar too. And can I tell you, my mom has been using this stuff for like years, guys, like years, like 20 years. She makes some soup with it. I forget exactly what she calls it, but the soup is actually pretty good. And she was the one who mentioned it to Greg and I um, like a long time ago. I'm talking like 20 plus years ago. Um, and she's been doing apple cider vinegar for like eons. She actually would wash our meat in that because she said there was too much crap in our meat, which she was totally right. But I was in my 20s at that point, so I'm talking a long time ago. And you could smell it when you came into the house, it was gross. Now that I just gave you way too much information. Um, but that's it, so I'm gonna go eat some lunch. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys want the recipe, I can certainly type it in here. I use that on everything. Oh, do you really? This, like this amino acid stuff, Paula? 
Cause yeah, I mean, we have, we constantly, I mean, we have it in our refrigerator all the time. That's why I'm like, let me just go check. Cause I know it's in there. I just didn't use it for this one, but, um, it's a super simple uh, recipe. And if you guys are looking for something to use your cauliflower rice, this is it. <laughs> yes. Awesome. All right, guys. Enjoy your Tuesday. Bye.